For today's video, we're going to be putting in a fence right next to our house in the front, next to the stoop we're on. Doug's going to be digging a hole mm -hmm. for the fence post. We're yeah. going to put up kind of like a privacy fence, just one panel. Yeah, we just bought the post, we got everything we need, so we're going to get to work. So this is where we're going to do it. We have this spot that we dug up before. And um, we're going to be putting a fence right here. And we're going to be attaching this gutter to the back of it. So that's our plan today. It's just a little privacy fence for our own reasons. And we're going to be using one of the fence panels that we got a couple weeks ago for free. So this isn't costing us anything. Five dollars. Five dollars? Well, for the brackets. Here. Oh. Yeah, we had to get some brackets to hold it to the post, but that's like minimal. Look at these bugs. Ooh, milkies. Let's see, Belle. After I get all of them, you'll see. What are they, Belle? Millipedes. Yep. Maybe I should put the camera in the hole and then turn it off. Right? Yeah, good idea. If you're going to be digging your own post holes, uh, just remember to take it easy. Uh, take your time, it's not a race. One thing you want to do is um, don't jam the post hole digger down into the hole. If you keep hitting, you're going to have a lot of impact in your arms and your hands. It's going to wear you out, it's going to hurt your hands. Instead, let the tool do the work. Just kind of let go of it at the last minute. Throw it down, let it do the work to loosen up the dirt. And then grab the dirt, pull it out. Now, if the dirt isn't loose, don't force it. You're just going to end up breaking your handles. Loosen the dirt, then lift it out. It's not so much a shovel. You don't want to try to really squeeze and try to dig that dirt out of there because it's going to put a lot of stress on the joints and that's how you break your handles, you ruin your tools. You just want to use it to pick up the loose soil. I think that's probably about three feet. Now I'm just going to cut the bottom off to the height that I want. Because I want it to be off the ground a little ways uh, to keep it off the dirt. So I'm just going to cut all this uneven edges off. Now we're going to flip it over and cut the other side the same way. Brackets are on. I think I'm ready to put the fence on. Technically, you should backfill the hole and get your post steady before doing this. I'm leaving the post loose because I don't trust my ability to get it straight. So I'm gonna use the fence to hold it for me. The fence is almost done. We got it hooked up. We're just gonna backfill the hole, replace the end boards, and it should be all set. When we set our posts, we always set them straight in the ground and we backfill them with the dirt that came out of the hole. We don't use concrete, and a lot of people do, but I find that concrete is just extra money and extra work for no 
good reason. Uh, the posts are just as strong in the dirt, and in fact, I think they last longer. You end up with a rotten post and a big rock in the ground that you have to move to replace it. So if you want to set posts, don't be afraid to just put them in the ground, they'll be just fine. Okay, we just got done putting the fence up. We still have to paint it. And we put this cap on the post, it's a metal cap. And it came out really good. So that's it for today. Well, we're stopping at a local antique mall and we're going to look around to see what they have. Um, maybe keep our eyes open for some oil lamps. We've been wanting some. You know, everybody's getting into this off-grid lifestyle, so we thought maybe we'd get a little prepared too. So, let's see how it goes. Is that a lava lamp? No, no, no. Oil lamp. What's that red stuff? It's oil. Yeah. Oh, it's oil. yeah. So this one's 25, 20% off. There's a nice one. Beautiful. There's some more right over here. Red and yellow. There's a cute little one. This place is huge. Three stories. Tons and tons of chairs. Yeah. That's something funny that we can make people laugh about. So I guess this is an old chicken feeder. It's a pretty cool design. Um, they can get their feed in here, but if they try to roost on it, it'll spin. So they can't they can't uh, perch on top of it. And they want 75. 75 for that. But you can make one yourself. There's a really expensive one in there. They want $150. Well, we didn't get any oil lamps, but we saw there was quite a few there. Um, we weren't sure if they were a good deal or not. They were all around $20 to $25. Um, we're gonna do a little more research first. Um, if you guys know what they're worth, let us know. Um, and that's it, now we're onto the store to pick up some food. <laughs> 